All right. Uh, now, this is the third video, and in this video, we're going to apply what we learned in the previous video. And then, in, uh, what we're going to talk about here, how do we actually use Canvas to, and how to draw on it? Now, what tool do you use? Now, uh, the nice thing about JavaScript and HTML, you can use any text editor. You can use Notepad. You can use, there's one that I, that I use quite often, which is Notepad++. You can run it, download it for Windows, and it, it's a very, uh, very good tool. Um, here, because I'm using a Mac, I'm going to use uh, Xcode to do this. But you can use any, any, any uh, text editor software to, to do this part. All right, so what we are starting with, we're starting with a, a plain HTML document. Usually, you have an HTML, this is HTML5, you have the header section, and then you have the body. So right now, all we're going to do is that we're going to work with the body. The first thing we're going to do is that we define a canvas. So how do you define a canvas? You define a canvas by saying canvas, here it is. This is canvas, and then you need to give it, we, we need to set some attribute of this canvas. First, I'm going to say the ID, ID equal, and I'm going to give it some value. Remember, we use C1. And then I'm going to say the width of this canvas equal to 400. And the height of this canvas equal again 400 okay that's all you need to do all right so we define uh, a canvas uh, we define a canvas the name of it this is is important the width is 400 and the height is 400 so it is nothing but uh, it's, a, it's a square all right now in order to do something with this we're gonna actually run some JavaScript. Now the JavaScript, you can actually define it here or here. For now, I'm just gonna define it in the body, all right? So I'm gonna say script, and then you close the tag for script. Okay. All right. Remember in the previous presentation, we said the first thing you need to do is that you need to get a reference to the canvas. So I'm going to say get the canvas object. Okay, so that's my first thing. This, all right, how do we get the canvas object? So I'm going to say I'm defining a variable object, and so it's going to say call it canvas, and then it's equal to what? We need to use the DOM model here. We need to get the reference of this canvas by saying document. dot what document dot get element by id and the id is what is whatever name you used in here so if i've used c1 here i will put c1 here okay and then semicolon now you're using javascript you have to use that semicolon here so this variable canvas equal document get element by id that's first thing second thing is that you need to get the context area in order to start drawing context object in order to start drawing otherwise you won't be able to so what do you say you say canvas or you say con var con i don't know why it's moving i'm using this var and then we're going to say uh, context equal to what equal uh, canvas that one i defined earlier that what canvas dot uh, get context okay say get context what context 2d This allow me to start drawing on it, okay? All right, 
So now I can actually start drawing. Once I got my objects, the canvas and the context, I can use the context to start drawing. So if I say, uh, if I say context or fill style, we'll say canvas uh, fill style equal red. Context dot fill style. And then I will say what style, whatever style I want to use equal, if I say yellow, okay. Now whatever graphic, uh, whatever things that I draw on the screen, it will actually be, uh, it will uh, be uh, yellow, all right? So now I can say context dot fill rectangle. And then I need to give it position. So if I say zero, zero, for example, and I say 50, 50, we should have a rectangle that actually have, starts at point zero, zero, and, uh, and have a width of 50 and a height of 50, and the, yellow, the color of it will be yellow. All right, so that's all in order to get started, to get start drawing. Now, let me test it and see if it works, all right? So I'm going to do Control Command S for saving it. All right, before we test it, actually, there is a couple of things that I, I found out by uh, there's mistakes in this. So first of all, this canvas in tag, you need that. You see that I didn't include it in the first one. And the other one is that the fill. That's the problem of using text editors that don't give you the autofill or, or, or uh, give you uh, uh, auto, like a uh, give you hints, okay? So now what happens is that if you run it, and I already open it in the browser, you just refresh, you will get this small rectangle, okay? There's nothing else on this web page except this area. Now the canvas is bigger than this. So how do I draw fill the whole campus? If I wanna draw a rectangle that fills the whole thing? Well, instead of this, you can just say, uh, I'm gonna copy this, just show you, command copy. And I'm going to use, this is green. I'm going to change the color to green. And then the other part is that here, instead of this and 50, 50, I'm going to use canvas that width. Okay. And then instead of this, I'm going to use comma canvas dot height. Okay. Now watch what happens if I do this now. You will get two rectangles, and I'm going to change this position just to show you. I'm going to move it a little bit down and move it a little bit to the right. Okay, this is X and this is Y. So if I say 50 and 100 and command S to save it, we go to the browser. Now, if you do refresh, see now this is the size of the actual canvas, and that rectangle was here. We moved it to down by 100 and this point, we moved it down by 100 and to the right by 50. So this is how you draw a rectangle, and this is how you draw uh, on a canvas. All right? Uh, now, do you remember when we talked about, you can do also, what else can you draw? You can draw the, you can use uh, uh, lines, you can use circles. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in a minute. All right, so we're ready to draw some lines. Now, to draw lines, what you need to do, if I can type. So I'm going to say draw lines, draw a line. Okay, and to draw a line, first you need to set the stroke style. I mean, what color color you want? Okay, if you if you don't specify it, you'll get the black. So I'm going to say context. Dot stroke style. And then you specify the color. So if you want yellow, again, you can say yellow. Okay, and then the other thing that you need to do, you need to move to the starting point. So you say context dot move to. 
and then you give it an X and Y coordinates. Remember that screen that we talked about? So if I want to go to the beginning, to the upper right corner, you can say move two lines, uh, 0 0.00. 0. And now the next thing you can do, you say context, I want to actually line to, and then the point that you wanted to draw, into, the, to, draw to. So for example, if I say 200 by 200, it will go to that point. And then finally, you actually paint the line. So you say context dot stroke. Okay, that's all to do. That's all you have to do to draw a line. Now, to test it, let's see how it works. If you go back to that, save it first. You go to this and then draw. Here is your um, stroke. But why is it actually it says black. Let's check the code, make sure I spelled it correctly. Uh, stroke, oh, stroke style. <laughs> stroke style is uh, yellow. So now if I save it again, and then do refresh, now you got your yellow line. All right. That is how we draw lines. Okay. The, the next thing you do, I think I gave you the code for the circle. Circle is not any different. And the same thing with images, okay? I think we're, this video is getting too long, but this is, you got the idea how we draw, uh, the, how we use the canvas and how we draw uh, on a canvas. You can go back to the PowerPoint and practice drawing circles and, uh, and drawing, uh, drawing uh, images. All right, and that is the start. The next video I'm gonna show you how we add action to the uh, canvas so we can move things on the screen. All right, not just simply draw, but move things on the screen. So we're gonna build incrementally on this example so to teach you the basics of, uh, of, of gaming. All right, I'll see you in the next video.